I have a whole, oh my god, no. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. So if you are just tuning in for the first time ever, my name is Brie, um, nice to meet you. Today is Sunday the 29th of December. It's almost the end of the new year. Um, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I am moving at the top of the new year. I'm moving to Orlando, Florida. So I've got three days until I move my entire life um, across the country. And I haven't started packing at all. So. This is gonna be like part one of a couple part series of my move across the country. Um, part one being packing. So just give a little update on like my situation going on here. So I've got stuff everywhere and I definitely should be farther along than I am. Um, but we've started some progress. So let's see. That's shoes and makeup will be dance shoes in there packed um bedding stuff random christmas gifts this keyboard has to go random bags but i'll kind of take you along with how my packing is going um so you can kind of i don't know i guess this would be interesting to some people um to see me struggle bus for the next three days trying to get all of my stuff together and make sure i don't forget anything and to top it all off i ordered a mattress and a mattress frame or a bed frame um on amazon to be shipped to the house I'm moving to. And I just found out the mattress is not getting there until the next day after I arrive at the house. So that's gonna be so much fun and it made me so happy um, tonight. Um, it'll be fine, it will literally be fine. Um, but yeah, I'll to back in when I do something exciting. So a big part of this moving process, which uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but a lot of my things moving down here I have to go through a lot of my stuff from college that has been sitting in my garage for the past however many years, months, days, depending on when I've used it last. I brought a lot of this stuff on my fellow contracts um, and stuff like that, but a lot of stuff has just been sitting in like random bins and bags and tubs and now I have to go through them all and make sure I don't forget anything or figure out if I actually need it down there because I'm trying to pack very lightly because I'm literally just like packing my car up and then like driving on down like there is no moving, moving van following me I'm gonna be buying a lot of things like for my room and for the house down there so I just want to like be as simple as possible so I've been kind of taking a lot of like the past couple days to kind of go through things throw a lot of things out organize stuff um, and then like finding things like oh that's where that went or oh now I do need this thing like whatever it might be so it's been a lot of organization and like getting rid of things which is hard for me to just get rid of stuff sometimes um, but also the good thing about moving right after the holidays is that there are plenty of boxes to use so I can just put them all in a bunch of boxes pack them on up hopefully they'll fit really nicely in my car um which would make my life a lot easier but again I got a giant piano I gotta bring I've got suitcases and just a lot of stuff so we will hopefully be able to fit everything um there really is no other option so it has to fit so or we'll have to be um leaving some stuff behind I gotta go through um this lovely little uh pile of uh, stuff from my college years, uh, which is about uh, anywhere from a one to four years ago. So it's me a lot of stuff. Okay guys, so it's a bit later now. It's I guess like the end of day one of packing. Um, we got some stuff done, like not gonna lie, like we got some stuff done, um, but we got a lot of stuff. If you remember our scene from before, but we've got boxes and a bag full and more boxes and random stuff and just lots of boxes and miscellaneous things. So that's a start. Um, definitely a start. The miscellaneous stuff was very random things that I knew I needed to put together. The clothes will be easy. Um, but as long as I don't forget a lot of the miscellaneous items, I think we will be good. So um, tomorrow I think I'm going to put like actually pack up my clothes and then really organize like a lot of this miscellaneous stuff and put them like like items together and make them fit nicely in boxes and stuff like that um 
it is very possible that I might trip over some of these things at some point within the next 24 hours and possibly break an ankle. So um, stay tuned for that because it very well might happen. And it's giving me a little bit of anxiety um, with all of the stuff cluttered in my room. But I will see you all tomorrow when I have more things done and be more productive. So good night for now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. So we are at day two of packing. I have some errands I have to run today, um, some appointments and stuff like that, but um, I started a little more organization, got some kitchen stuff together. So as you can see, our pile is getting bigger. But today I will be starting packing up my clothes, so that'll probably be after I come back from all of my errands. Um, but just wanted to give you a little update on where we are now. Um, I have not um, tripped over anything yet, so that's positive. Um, but we're really starting to come together. So we're doing good. I will see you all later. Alright guys, so it's a bit later now. I've completed all my appointments and like little errands I had to run today. So I officially started packing my clothes. I took everything out of my drawers basically and shoved them onto my bed um, and folded them up. So now I just kind of take everything out of my closet, fold that up, and then put everything in space bags and eventually start putting them in the suitcase. Now my goal was to be able to get all of my clothes, being that they are going to be in space bags and compact down into one big suitcase. I don't know if that's actually going to happen uh, because just by looking at the clothes from my drawers that are currently on my bed, um, these are all the clothes that are from my drawers basically. Um, it's quite a bit and I've got like some stuff like in a basket but it's quite a bit of stuff so it may not happen but the space bag should hopefully like compact everything down and be able to fit a good majority of it in one big suitcase um but yeah we'll see also a little update the pile just keeps on growing with all of my stuff so we are doing uh, pretty well uh, let's go get stuff out of the closet and continue back in all right time to empty out the closet so i realized i really don't wear as much of my closet as i thought i wear mostly what is in my drawers so this is actually not that bad. It's actually not that much clothing. So, I mean, maybe we'll fit it in one suitcase. Maybe. Probably not. Alright guys, it is officially time to space bag all of the clothing. So, I have my space bags of varying sizes. For some reason, I can only find two large bags. So, we'll see how this works. But, I have used these space bags um, throughout college throughout all my moving processes and they are truly a lifesaver when it comes to getting clothes compacted now if you're worried about weight like if you're bringing clothes on like an airplane or something like that maybe don't use the space bags because i have stuffed so many clothes into one suitcase where my bag was then like 75 pounds and most um airlines only let you bring bags that are like 50 pounds or less or then you have to pay like oversized fees so just be careful about that but we are going to fit as much clothes into these space bags as possible. This large one says it um, it fits up to 10 sweaters. Well, that's um, we are going to definitely exceed that. Um, but let's get started. reference I have 13 shirts in this space bag so far it looks like I mean kind of full you can fit so many more clothes in here I'm assuming I'm gonna fit like near 20 shirts of some sort in here and then compress it all down okay guys so I have the space bag is all filled I fit a total of 23 shirts in this bag so way more than what the bag originally estimated um, I could probably fit more but I thought this looks like a good size and I gotta get all the air out of here so now we're going to get the air out of the space bag using the handy dandy vacuum. 
I know some of my space bags probably definitely have holes in them and they don't stay um, fully suctioned out. So we're going to hope it's not this one, but I have a feeling it's going to be at least one of my space bags. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that space bag. Oh yeah, she's flat. She is so flat, look at that. Oh yes. Boom, that's how you pack. Okay, so I'm gonna go space bag um, the rest of the stuff. Hopefully they'll fit in all my space bags and hopefully they will fit in my suitcase. I'll come back with you guys later once I have made more progress. All right guys, I officially did it. I packed all the clothes. Not in one suitcase, I knew that wasn't gonna happen, but it took six space bags to fit all the clothes, which all the clothes didn't actually go in space bags, so I just had to like shove into pockets or just in other places of the suitcase, but I got them into that big suitcase, and then I got in like a little, like a little like carry-on size suitcase. So overall, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So the only other clothes I have to pack are my last like bit of laundry from the clothes I've worn the past couple days, which those I'll just kind of like throw somewhere. We'll see where they end up. They'll just be like in like a bag somewhere. Um, or I'll take them with me in like my backpack when I stay at the hotel. Um, but overall, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. That's basically almost all my stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot my socks. All right. Um, just kidding. I did not get everything back. I have a whole... Oh, I have a, my basket full of socks and bathing suits that I forgot. <sighs> okay, um, scratch that, I'm a liar. Now I gotta go figure out where I'm gonna put these. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, update. I found a spot for the socks and the bathing suits. I literally, I did not want to take everything back out of the suitcases and put them in a different bag. I just like shoved these socks in every pocket known to man in like any suitcase possible. So all of the suitcases look like giant mountains right now. They are by no means flat. Um, so packing all this up in the car tomorrow will definitely be very interesting. But we're pretty much done for the day. I went over my list and I have everything basically here that I'm bringing and it's really not that much like it doesn't look like that much I'm hoping it fits really nicely in the car tomorrow um, it'll, Tomorrow will just be literally packing everything up playing uh, Jenga or um, Tetris with all of my things making sure it fits and Maybe putting some last-minute items in like boxes to make it look a little nicer, but overall that's really it um, I'm excited to kind of like finalize everything tomorrow and then eventually leave the next morning um, but yeah, I'm gonna sign out for tonight and I will see you all tomorrow when we are packing the car. Bye! <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are in day three of packing and it is finally time to put everything into the car. Well, see if it fits in the car. So, first thing are some giant suitcases. So, here we go. All right. <laughs> You ready, Mom? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mom's got the first big suitcase. <laughs> Wait, oh, okay. All right, here we go. Over the hump. One, two, okay, here we go. Down to the car. Okay, shut the door on me. Great. Go. All right. And up. Oh, it's locked. Whoops. All right, so we're encountering the problem that my car is not as big as we originally thought. So we've got um, that whole thing kind of packed in. We've got stuff over here. I'll show you. This looks like, I mean, I don't think we have that much more to put in, but she's gonna be a tight fit. So, um, overall, we're doing pretty good. 
All right, everyone, we did it. We officially fit everything in the cart. There was on the blog. some stuff. <laughs> there was some stuff where like that even it's not important. We're not bringing it, but it's okay. Um, my dog is very sad. That <laughs> she's. She knows she's not coming with us and she's a big fear of being left out. Big old FOMO. Um <laughs> so she's she wants to hop in the car. <laughs> so I mean give you a look of what this car situation looks like. It's it's quite the game of um I keep saying Jenga, but it's a Tetris. Game of Tetris, so let's see. Okay. So we got my bag in the front. And then, I don't even know if I can open. All right, here we go. I mean, we are packed to the rim. The seat is pushed down, and then there's just stuff everywhere, like all the way up to the top. Let's shut this. And now the trunk is also filled to the brim. <laughs> and that's the view from the other side. So it's gonna be a trip. But we, I mean, that was probably one of the hardest parts of just getting everything to fit in the car. So, um, just have like 16, 15 hours of driving ahead of us over the next two days. Um, but yeah, that's um, going to be the end of this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for my next videos with the rest of this journey. Um, it's going to be quite the adventure, right, mom? Yep. <laughs> Can't wait. Bella. Let's go. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my latest content. Um, make sure you like, comment, and share to the rest of your friends. And we will see you all next time.